Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. Okay, let's check out what we got in front of us right now. We have a resin model, guys. By the way, this is a resin model. As, I, as you probably already know, I make videos for diecast and resin. Because I find a lot of resin cards to be very, very attractive. Models that I do not find as a diecast. And my collection grows even bigger. Now we got in front of us a 1999 Nissan Rasheen Forza. Now when we say the word Forza... We know Forza means more, it's usually the more powerful, the more um, bigger engine, the, the more detail. And this has the S package, sports package. And by the way, guys, I said 1999. Nope, it's a 1998. Very close, but not exactly. So that correction goes right there. Now, this is for, this is made by High Story. Great quality cars. Great, great, great. I love them. I very, I think they're one of the best of the resin world. They make quality die cast. They are quite, quite built properly. They don't break apart. Sometimes these resin, I say die cast before, sorry. Sometimes these resin models, they're so fragile. The trim starts coming out. The window starts coming, popping out. Like, you got to treat them with care. But, um, usually this, the, um, resin model is quite, quite good quality. Now, talking about the Nissan Rasheen, it's not a very known model, at least for my eyes, and not sure about other countries around the world. The Nissan Rasheen came out in 1994, and it was produced all the way down to 2000. Now, this model, they, the, the specific Rasheen Forza, they started thinking about making it back in 1997 to make it a more powerful model for the Rasheen, um, you know, style. If you look at this style right here, they refresh in the front a bit from the original Nissan Rasheen. It did not have the round headlights. It had the square headlight each side. But the shape, more or less, it's going to be the same. The back window, they kind of made it like smaller on the Rasheen Forza. From the and they also put those moldings around the door, the gray coloring moldings, bigger tires. You can see their rims are bigger, but still, it's a Nissan machine under all that carriage. And you know, they have they all came in a four cylinder between 1.5 and 1 and uh, 2.0. I'm sure this one has the 2.0 because it's the bigger and bigger engine model, the Forza, Forza model. But to me, more or less, a little bit here, a little bit there. But they all need some machine regardless. From what I've seen in pictures, I also have the one with the square headlights. And they're about the same. They're not bigger. They're not, like, a lot more rugged. They're a bit more stylish, I think, this one. But it's about the same regardless. As you probably know, this needs some machine. It's a, it's, they call them, like, a compact crossover SUV. To me, it's probably more like a crossover. It gives me a bit of a competition for like, uh, example, oh, let's see, the station wine of the Subaru, the Legacy, or the Outback, how they call it now, probably, or the Suzuki, Vitara, forward slash, uh, how they call it here, Vitara. The Suzuki SUV, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, what else? What else can compete with this? Probably a Toyota RAV4, the first generation. Yeah, around there. Now, the color mix, I love it. I find it very attractive. It, that, you know, all that color mix is really, really good. The back tire. Now, resin models are on point. 
I mentioned before, and I'll say it again. They make every little detail out there, and they make it well. That's why you pay the price. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to go around a few times so you can have a nice look at it, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so let me know what you guys think about this. You know, this is an SUV that we never had in North America or Latin America altogether. Not fully sure about Europe. If you're from Europe, I have a friends from the UK, Italy, Romania, Germany, France, Spain. Let me know. The northern countries, uh, Sweden, Finland. Let me know if you guys had them in in your territory you know maybe it was sold i have noticed some of cars they i, I always thought that when the car goes into the european market it basically sells in every european country and i was totally wrong i noticed that there are certain models that not every european country have sold and that's um Sometimes that's, you know, you learn something new every day. And that was my lesson of that day. I forgot when day I learned that, but I remember that very clearly. <laughs> so now that I'm mentioning Europe, I said, well, let me know what part of Europe you're from. And if it was sold in your country. All right, guys, don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up, which I always appreciate. And let me know in the comments below your thoughts and you, what you know so far about this car, if you like it. And do not forget to um, subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe button. Alright guys, so have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, night, whenever you're watching this video. Goodbye.